Psalm 61. O God, hear my prayer. Listen to my heart's cry. For no matter where I am, even when I'm far from home, I will cry out to you for a father's help. When I'm feeble and overwhelmed by life, guide me into your glory where I am safe and sheltered. Lord, you are a paradise of protection to me. You lift me high above the fray. None of my foes can touch me. When I'm held firmly in your wraparound presence, keep me in this glory. Let me live continually under your splendor shadow, hiding my life in you forever. You have heard my sweet resolutions to love and serve you, for I am your beloved. And you have given me an inheritance of rich treasures, which you give to all your lovers. You treat me like a king, giving me a full and abundant life, years and years of reigning, like many generations rolled into one. I will live enthroned with you forever. Guard me, O God, with your unending, unfailing love. Let me live my days walking in grace and truth before you, and my praises will fill the heavens forever, fulfilling my vow to make every day a love gift to you. Psalm 62. I stand silently to listen for the one I love, waiting as long as it takes for the Lord to rescue me. For God alone has become my savior. He alone is my safe place. His wraparound presence always protects me, for he is my champion defender. There's no risk of failure with God. So why would I let worry paralyze me, even when troubles multiply around me? But look at these who want me dead, shouting their vicious threats at me. The moment they discover my weakness, they all begin plotting to take me down. Liars, hypocrites with nothing good to say, all of their energies are spent on moving me from this exalted place. I am standing in absolute stillness, silent before the one I love, waiting as long as it takes for him to rescue me. Only God is my savior and he will not fail me. For he alone is my safe place. His wraparound presence always protects me as my champion defender. There's no risk of failure with God. So why would I let worry paralyze me? Even when troubles multiply around me, God's glory is all around me. His wraparound presence is all I need. For the Lord is my savior, my hero, and my life-giving strength. Join me, everyone. Trust only in God every moment. Tell him all your troubles and pour out your heart longings to him. Believe me when I tell you he will help you. Before God, all the people of the earth, high or low, are like smoke that disappears, like a vapor that quickly vanishes away. Compared to God, they're nothing but vanity, nothing at all. The wealth of the world is nothing to God. So if your wealth increases, don't be boastful or put your trust in money. And don't think for a moment that you can get away with stealing by overcharging others just to get more for yourself. God said to me once and for all, all the strength and power you need flows from me. And again, I heard it clearly said, all the love you need is found in me. And the Almighty said, the greater your passion for more, the greater reward I will give you. Psalm 63. O oh God of my life, I'm lovesick for you in this weary wilderness. I thirst with the deepest longings to love you more, with cravings in my heart that can't be described. Such yearning grips my soul for you, my God. I'm energized every time I enter your heavenly sanctuary to seek more of your power and drink in more of your glory. For your tender mercies mean more to me than life itself. How I love and praise you, God. Daily I will worship you passionately and with all my heart. My arms will wave to you like banners of praise. I overflow with praise when I come before you, for the anointing of your presence satisfies me like nothing else. You are such a rich banquet of pleasure to my soul. I lie awake each night thinking of you and reflecting on how you help me like a father. I sing through the night under your splendor shadow, offering up to you my songs of delight and joy. With passion, I pursue and cling to you because I feel your grip on my life. I keep my soul close to your heart. Those who plot to destroy me shall descend into the darkness of hell. They will be consumed by their own evil and become nothing more than dust under our feet. 
These liars will be silenced forever. But with the anointing of a king, I will dance and rejoice along with all his lovers who trust in him. Psalm 64. Lord, can't you hear my cry, my bitter complaint? Keep me safe from this band of criminals and from the conspiracy of these wicked men. They gather in their secret council to destroy me. Can't you hear their slander, their lies? Their words are like poison-tipped arrows shot from the shadows. They are unafraid and have no fear of the consequences. They set their traps against us in secret. They strengthen each other, saying, no one can see us. Who can stop us? They're nothing more than unruly mobs joined in their unholy alliance. Searching out new opportunities to pervert justice, deceivers scheming together their ill-conceived plot as they plan the perfect crime. How unsearchable is their endless evil, trying desperately to hide the deep darkness of their hearts. But all the while, God has his own fire-tipped arrows. Suddenly, without warning, they will be pierced and struck down. Staggering backward, they will be destroyed by the very ones they spoke against. All who see this will view them with scorn. Then all will stand awestruck over what God has done, seeing how he vindicated the victims of these crimes. The lovers of God will be glad, rejoicing in the Lord. They will be found in his glorious wraparound presence, singing songs of praise to God. Psalm 65. O God in Zion, to you even silence is praise. You are the God who answers prayer. All of humanity comes before you with their requests. Though we are overcome by our many sins, your sacrifice covers over them all. And your priestly lovers, those you've chosen, will be greatly favored to be brought close to you. What inexpressible joys are theirs. What feasts of mercy fill them in your heavenly sanctuary. How satisfied we will be just to be near you. You answer our prayers with amazing wonders and with awe-inspiring displays of power. You are the righteous God who helps us like a father. Everyone everywhere looks to you, for you are the confidence of all the earth even to the farthest islands of the sea. What jaw-dropping, astounding power is yours. You are the mountain maker who sets them all in place. You muzzle the roar of the mighty seas and the rage of mobs with their noisy riots. O oh God, to the farthest corners of the planet, people will stand in awe, startled and stunned by your signs and wonders. Sunrise brilliance and sunset beauty both take turns singing their songs of joy to you. Your visitations of glory bless the earth. The rivers of God overflow and enrich it. You paint the wheat fields golden as you provide rich harvests. Every field is watered with the abundance of rain, showers soaking the earth and softening its clods, causing seeds to sprout throughout the land. You crown the earth with its yearly harvest, the fruits of your goodness. Wherever you go, the tracks of your chariot wheels drip with oil. Luxuriant green pastures boast of your bounty as you make every hillside blossom with joy. The grazing meadows are covered with flocks and the fertile valleys are clothed with grain. Each one dancing and shouting for joy, creation's celebration, and they're all singing their songs of praise to you. Psalm 66. 